क्वेश्चन नंबर 2.256 अ कांस्टेंट इलेक्ट्रिक करंट फ्लोस अलोंग ए यूनिफॉर्म वायर विद क्रॉस सेक्शनल रेडियस आर एंड हीट कंडक्टिविटी कोफिशिएंट के अ यूनिट वॉल्यूम ऑफ द वायर जनरेट्स अ थर्मल पावर डब्ल्यू फाइंड द टेंपरेचर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन अक्रॉस द वायर प्रोवाइडेड द स्टडी स्टेट टेंपरेचर एट द वायर सरफेस इज इक्वल टू टी नॉट लेट अस मेक द डायग्राम सपोज दिस इज अ सिलिंड्रिकल वायर in this cylindrical wire it is given that a constant current is flowing like this this is electric current let's say electric current is i cross sectional radius is equal to r and in this material due to this current heat is being generated or heat kis tarah se generate ho rahi hai uske liye diya hua hai unit volume of the wire generates a thermal power to per unit time from unit volume this much amount of heat is generated and it is also given that the material is in steady state a steady state means material is not absorbing any heat and temperature of different different points have achieved their steady state's temperature and we are given that the surface temperature is t not then the steady state temperature of the surface is t not let us make the cross section of this wire so this is the cross section and in this cross section this radius is capital r and surface temperature is t not we are given that wire is in a steady state a steady state means for a steady state we can is we can write no heat is absorbed no heat is absorbed by the wire the heat which is being generated as thermal power is directly conducted by this material by conduction let us take an element i'm taking an element like this this is a cylindrical shell cylindrical shell of radius small r and thickness dr in this volume in this volume the heat is being generated and that heat is conducted like this whatever heat is generated in this volume this volume is pi r square and let's say the length of the wire is equal to l so this volume will be pi small r square into l whatever heat is generated in this volume it must be conducted through this element without any absorption for a steady state then heat generated in this volume will be equal to per unit volume heat generated per unit time is w power for volume pi r square l this power is w pi r square l and this is a rate of heat conducted by the element whatever heat is generated in this volume pi r square l must be conducted through this element otherwise if there is some absorption then temperature will not remain a constant and this is also equal to i the heat current which is being conducted through this element and i is given by formula thermal conductivity coefficient multiplied by area area we will take as 2 pi r l multiplied by 
टेम्परेचर ग्रेडियंट डी टी बाई डी आर एज वी आर गोइंग इन दिस डायरेक्शन हिट इज बींग कंडक्टेड इन दिस डायरेक्शन सो टेम्परेचर इन दिस डायरेक्शन मस्ट डिक्रीज सो इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ आर टेम्परेचर इज डिक्रीजिंग सो आई एम यूजिंग अ माइनस साइन हियर दिस आई इज ऑल्सो इक्वल टू ओमेगा पाई आर स्क्वायर सो दिस इज द इक्वेशन विच इज टू बी फॉर्म्ड टू सॉल्विंग दिस क्वेश्चन वन आर विल बी कैंसल्ड एल इज कैंसल्ड एंड दिस डी टी इज इक्वल टू पाई इज ऑल्सो कैंसल्ड ओमेगा बाई टू के विद माइनस साइन एंड वन आर विल बी हेयर आर डी आर इंटीग्रेट दिस इक्वेशन आई एम इंटीग्रेटिंग दिस इक्वेशन फ्रॉम आर टू कैपिटल आर At R is equal to R, let us check temperature as T. At R is equal to capital R, temperature is given as T naught. So the integration will become T naught minus T, and this will become omega. Sorry, W by two K, and it will be R square minus R square by two. The temperature T, T naught plus W by two K. And this two and two will be four r square minus r square. So this is the final answer to this problem. Temperature as a function of r.